is up guys, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing a video on like sketchbooks and I've been wanting to make this video for a while now and I just want to show you guys a bunch of my artwork that I've done over the past like probably like the past six years, seven years or something like that so some of my stuff is like from middle school but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you guys think of my art and also comment down below what your favorite art piece was because I'd love to know that. And yeah, so that's all for this intro and let's get straight into it. Okay, so next I'm starting with another of my sketchbooks and I really don't like this sketchbook. like. It's kind of just random stuff. Okay, so next I have this book that says Inspire on it. And it's not really a sketchbook, I actually have been journaling and putting photos in it, but I've tried to draw every day, but that didn't happen. It started from like January, and then I kind of took a break, but I'll show you guys anyways. Okay, so this next sketchbook is actually probably one of my older sketchbooks and I've had this since like grade 7, grade 8 or something like that. So it's not my best work, but there is some pretty cool stuff. Okay, next I have a bunch of different patterns that I made up because at the time we were learning about patterns and repetition and I also was really obsessed with Hello Kitty at the time as you can tell Okay, and this is probably actually I didn't realize this but I think this is when I started doing Zentangles I did a journal entry in I think grade 8 and it's called Two Faced, so we had to take a magazine piece and then draw the other half of what we thought it looked like. So yeah, I'm actually pretty proud about this piece. Okay, so next I have the typical color wheel because we're learning about colors. Funny story, but we ended up coloring our clay bowls with all the different types of colors and then we took this glaze that's supposed to make it shiny and it was green, but when we took out our bowls, they were completely green. So I guess our teacher never gave them back to us because they looked really bad. Next, I don't think I did this in class. as they came up okay this I did this on a school trip when we went on this I did this on a school trip when we went to a bunch of museums and had to draw I actually thought this was pretty cool it's pretty abstract but I do like it next underneath that I have this dolphin and that was also supposed to be part of my bowl
character right here and this guy is actually a friend character that I was learning in grade 8 or grade 9 and I thought he was really cute so I just drew a bunch of them and then I was practicing different types of eyes more like anime cartoon styles okay so next I'm actually kind of mad because I did this on line paper originally and I actually just glued this in my sketchbook because I guess I was doing this during class or something but yeah so I was really into flowers back then and also butterflies and I had these, these really cool markers that were really bright and vibrant that just brought out a lot of color okay so next I have a bunch of paisleys which are so cute and I really loved these I'm actually still obsessed with paisleys okay next this is for my obsession with Nutella, as you can see. And, oh, I actually have the date there. April 11th, 2014. Okay, so next, I did a bunch of different languages. And the middle one says love. And every other word says love or something associated with love. Then the next picture, I actually just drew this. And I covered up this part because it it's supposed to be Ariana Grande, but I messed up her chin, so she looks kind of weird and her proportions are kind of off. Next, I just did a pattern with a bunch of different shapes. This is probably one of my favorites. It says, see the world differently through other people's eyes. And yeah, I just love this piece. It has a pretty cool message. It looks pretty nice. And then I did like a rainbow iris sort of thing. I do love this. Okay, so next, this is probably where I also got more into Zentangles and drawing just random items. So for instance, here is Mickey Mouse and a castle. And what else do I have? Ice cream, cupcakes, pineapple. A bunch of different designs. I'm actually going to close up on this. Okay, so I think I saved the best for last. This is some of my recent work and a bunch of random stuff from just years. Oh, I have this Ariana Grande that I think it's on her My Everything album or something like that. But I was trying to copy the style in more of a abstract, cartoonish way. Next, this was my interpretive drawing of Melanie Martinez. One, since all the sharpie dots went through the page I just turned it into a telescope here I just tested a bunch of watercolors on the page this I actually did in one of my classes in grade 12 and same as this I'm actually mad because I also did this one on lined paper Oh, this one I thought was pretty cute. I just did this this summer. It's just a sort of Tumblr girl that I drew. This one is more of an inspired drawing of the Secret Garden coloring book. This is also one of my favorite sketches that I drew. I just took some black tea and put it on the paper and then I drew an outdoor scene. Okay, so in the back I just have a bunch of loose pieces of paper that I've either done watercolor or drawn on so I wanted to show you guys those. And then this was more of a Cinderella inspiration. I don't really like this piece as much but it also was one of my first times actually using watercolor. Okay, so this next piece I am so happy about this. I actually did this 
this summer and it's just a girl it's kind of abstract with like a vineyard behind her and then this is a tumbler girl with a pot and I really love how the colors turned out especially in her sweater Okay, so this is the last piece out of all my sketchbooks. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and make sure to subscribe for more videos. See you in my next video.